In 2010, NFA opened the forest boundaries total into 11,331 hectares by the residents from areas of Jogoro, Chakadongo, Kabale, Muzizi, Nyamugasa, among others, disputed the survey report and went to court in 2013. Today, the judge came to the site on a fact-finding mission to ascertain the truth about the two parties on who is violating the 2015 court order to maintain the status quo. My lord, that the uh, Wagonza was chased and he doesn't know even where he, the iron sheets went. So even if he comes here, he comes when he's not settled. However, Boaz Basijirenda, the NFA sector manager Kagadi says they've had a number of engagement meetings with different stakeholders and came up with resolutions regarding the court order. He says people have gone ahead to clear the forest land which is violation of the court order. The court order in the court order there were 128 one, 128 people. Two people filed a feeder with mm. I don't know how you flood it. I thought they were supposed to file on behalf of NFA. You see what happened my mm. lord? The application is against individuals, yes. not the NFA. But the order is against NFA. Exactly, yes. But they are now choosing individuals. individuals yes. Moses Mumuza, the NFA legal officer says, the authority has conducted the boundary opening exercise but accuses some individuals in the area of selling the forest land. To that effect, mm. the boundary they court ordered for boundary opening. Yes, and you said it was The commission of surveys and mapping mm. came and opened the boundary and made a report indicating that the applicants are within the forest reserve. Mm. But my lord, for if you have seen where we come from, there are houses where people actually settled in the forest mm. reserve mm. and nobody has touched them. Skonia Sabit has also accused NFO officials and security of continuing to arrest locals around the forest, yet there is a court order. <laughs> Meanwhile, the judge has set September 4th, 2020 as the hearing date of a case of contempt of court. The main application of illegal eviction has been under adjudication in the same court since 2030. It is estimated that over 1,325 people are affected.